It's now apparent that Denise Morrison and her team are on the path to take the one sleepy soup company and make it the food industry's leader. Acquiring cutting edge food upstarts, testing recipes in food trucks, and most recently severing ties with industry on GMO labeling. This is a company that's changing the landscape. Its 2016 Culinary Trendscape report is no exception. Their team of culinarians, led by Thomas Griffiths, Master Chef and VP of Culinary at Campbell's, predict that there's a revival in French cuisine and everyday cooking using, of course, butter and other traditional fats and oils, including rendered chicken fat, beef tallow and pork fat, which is even being touted on packaged food labels. While many of the trends the report offer are already commonplace, some, such as restaurants installing live hearths, we find of interest. He says it's a return to the simplest form of grilling, where chefs are embracing wood-fired grills for cocktails, appetizers, even desserts, deliberately burning dishes, and incorporating specialty woods and charcoals to intensify flavor, and then showcasing the type of wood or charcoal used right on the menu. My favorite of their trends, they named it Inspired Ice Cream, and say that the ice cream category is being reinvented with bold new flavors like chorizo caramel, hibiscus beet, and black pepper butter pecan. Not a new innovation around the globe, as we've reported in Food News Today before, especially in ice cream shops in Israel. But here in the U.S., it might well push Baskin Robbins well beyond its 31 mundane flavors.